Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel, where we bring you the latest updates on various military technology and advancements. In today's video, we will talk about the U.S. Army's main air and missile defense system, the MIM-104 Patriot Missile System. Newer versions of the Patriot system, which was originally intended as an anti-aircraft system, can engage ballistic and cruise missiles, loitering weapons, and aircraft. The Ukrainian military also uses this missile system to fend off Russian incursions. A typical Patriot battery has a radar set, an engagement control station, support vehicles for power generation and other functions, as well as several launch stations. Patriot is currently in use by 18 nations, so let's see how effective this American missile defense system is. The Patriot missile defense system consists of six major components. Number 1, Missile, Number 2, Launcher, Number 3, Radar Set, Number 4, Control Station, Number 5, Power Generator Unit, and Number 6, High Frequency Antenna Mast. Since it was first deployed, the Patriot system has undergone constant improvements, and it no longer resembles the initial system used in 1983. As of right now, Patriot supports the Pac-2 and Pac-3 interceptor families. The Pac-2 missile family, which replaces the original Patriot and Pac-1 interceptors, has enhanced blast fragmentation warheads as well as software that allows it to attack ballistic missiles. The missile employs track via missile guidance during its terminal phase. After being command guided close to the target, the missile passively tracks the object as it is lit by the engagement radar on the ground. The Pac-2 Guidance Enhanced Missile, an upgraded model designed to engage air and ballistic missile targets, was created in the 1990s and featured lighter structures, improved propellants, redesigned warhead fusing, and improved guidance. The most recent Pac-2 variants, GEM Tactical TBM, GEMT, and GEM Cruise, GEMC, include additional improvements for engaging ballistic and cruise missile targets, respectively. In 2002, the Pac-2 GEMT and GEMC were introduced to the Army. The Patriot Pac-2 missile family has been completely redesigned as the Pac-3 family. It has a smaller diameter and destroys nimble targets using hit-to-kill technology rather than a blast fragmentation warhead. The Pac-3 uses a more responsive airframe and 180 solid-fueled attitude control motors positioned in its forward area to accomplish its increased maneuverability. For final guiding, the Pac-3 also has an active Caban radar seeker. The Pac-3 is said to be able to defend an area that is seven times larger than the Pac-2, thanks to its smaller weight and more modern propulsion technology. The Department of Defense reclassified older Pac-3 systems as the Pac-3 CRI following the deployment of the Pac-3 MSE. Each Patriot launch canister may accommodate four Pac-3 CRIs. A third of a Pac-2 family missile's weight, or 312 kilograms, is carried by each missile. A larger, dual-pulse booster and other upgrades to guidance, structure, and software are features of the improved Pac-3 MSE version of the Pac-3. This enables it to protect a much greater defended area. 21 The MSE, the sole Pac-3 family missile in production, proved its capability to intercept MRBM targets in 2017. Up to four launch canisters can fit inside the Patriot's launching station, which is a two-axle trailer. Up to four Pac-3 CRI, three Pac-3 MSE, or one Pac-2 GEM interceptor can be stored in each canister. This system is propelled by an M983 truck and has a 15 kilowatts generator on board. There are typically six to eight launching points in a Patriot battery. The Patriot system has used the M901, M902, and M903 launcher types since its debut. Only the Pac-2 GEM interceptor is compatible with the first generation M901. The Pac-2 GEM and the Pac-3 CRI can be launched by the M902. The Pac-2 GEM, Pac-3 CRI, 
and Pac-3 MSC can all be launched by the M903. The Pac-3 MSE and Pac-3 CRI interceptors can both be carried in mixed loads by the M903. With the use of launcher modification kits, Patriot operators can convert earlier launcher models to the M903 standard. To find and engage targets, Patriot currently uses a single ANMPQ-53, ANMPQ-65, or ANMPQ-65A radar system. The Patriot radar is unique in that it combines monitoring, tracking, and engaging tasks into a single device, unlike other air defense systems. This makes it possible to drastically minimize the logistical footprint and simplify the operational approach. The ANMPQ-53, the first phased array air defense radar ever built, was used in conjunction with older PAC-2 systems. The Army created a new radar, the ANMPQ-65, and a further digital upgrade, the ANMPQ-65A, with a 30% increase in range to complement the PAC-3 and PAC-3 MSE's expanded range. As of 2019, the ANMPQ-65A radar was installed in 9 out of 15 Patriot battalions of the U.S. Army. The lower tier air and missile defense system, a new radar, will take the place of current systems in 2023, according to the Army. The lower tier air and missile defense system will have 360 degree coverage and a substantially greater detection range than the ANMPQ-53, 65, and 65A, which can only monitor a small area of airspace. The LTAMDS is an active electronically scanned array radar using gallium nitride power amplifiers, enabling improved jamming resistance, beam agility, and power efficiency than earlier systems. In contrast to the passively scanned arrays used by the ANMPQ-53 and minus 65 series radars, six LTAMDS units were the subject of a first army contract award in october 2019 with the first systems expected to be delivered in the middle of 2021 the only manned element of a patriot battery is the anmsq4 engagement control station which is based on an m927 truck patriot engagements are largely autonomous only the choice to launch requires human intervention a tactical control officer, tactical control assistant, and communications operator are all seated between two and four operators at the ECS's two computer consoles. The tactical control officer selects targets and confirms suitable rules of engagement, the tactical control assistant executes interceptor launch commands, and a communications operator tracks communications between headquarters and the other batteries. The tactical control assistant may also use a recorder to capture messages from headquarters. The 2019 deployment of the Patriot ECS's most recent upgrade includes improved computers and software, friend orfo systems, upgraded consoles, and connectivity with the Army's integrated combat command system battle network. The Patriot system can employ targeting information from other sensor systems to complete an engagement by connecting with an IBCS connected integrated fire control network relay. In mid-2020, the Army performed a multi-month limited user test of the system, downing two cruise missile targets with Pac-3 CRI interceptors on August 13th. In December 2019, the Army showed its first IBCS-connected intercept of two cruise missile targets with Pac-2 missiles. Power for the Patriot radar and ECS is supplied by a separate electric power plant vehicle that has two 150 kilowatts generators. The antenna mast group is a vehicle that raises two high-frequency radio masts, and the ECS connects with it to send firing instructions to the launching stations. An additional information coordination central ICC vehicle for command and control may be part of a Patriot battery. The ICC may coordinate engagement orders amongst several Patriot batteries when working in tandem with the ECS. It can also fuse battery data with higher echelons. The dismounted Patriot ICC, a new iteration of the system, condenses its features into several portable boxes for usage in fixed positions. 
Patriot has been employed by foreign operators on various occasions in recent years. Israel destroyed two Hamas drones, two Syrian drones, and a Syrian Su-24 in 2014 with Patriot GEM plus missiles. In 2016, Israel used Patriot and fighter-launched air-to-air missiles to target and miss a tiny drone coming from Syria. In November 2017, Israel downed a second Syrian drone close to the Golan Heights, and in 2018, it shot down a second drone and a Su-24. The Ukrainian armed forces started using Patriot Pac-3 systems from the United States and Germany in their conflict with Russia in 2023. The intercept of a Russian KH-47 Kinsel aeroballistic missile over Kiev in May 2023 was one of the first documented Patriot encounters in Ukraine. The Ukrainian Air Force claimed to have utilized Patriot on May 16, 2023, to stop a barrage of six Kinsel missiles over Kiev. The Pac-3 CRI interceptor was likely used in these encounters. According to reports, the Patriot batteries sustained minor damage during the strike, presumably from missile debris, but it was quickly rebuilt.